Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of August reading for you all. August 16th through the 31st reading for Taurus. How are you all today? I am doing wonderful. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs not going to resonate with everyone you guys if it doesn't resonate try your other signs okay I've already meditated on the cards before I start the video and we're going to try some new cards today I thought maybe you guys would like something new for a change and I love these cards I hope you guys uh oh I'm going to take the top one and put back the bottom Hope you guys like them as much as I do. They're really nice cards, I think. I don't know why I can't shuffle today. Justice, Seven of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Cups, and Ace of Swords. You're clarifying. The Page of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. I'm going to rearrange these. I hope you guys don't mind. The Temple Path, Financial Constraints. Opportunity, and within the next few months, nice. Give me just a minute, okay? Some of you guys are going to have a choice, an option, and for some reason I'm feeling like with the Seven of Cups, you might need to um, weigh all of your options, okay? Some of these options are realistic and some of them aren't. Some of them are a little far-fetched. They're a little bit, um, hold on. There's something that, okay, hold, I'm trying to phrase this the right way. There may be some options that comes up into your, into your life that may 
be too be too good to be true. And if that's the case, you want to definitely realize that, okay? Now there's going to be some that you can grab onto or that you could actually go with and it's going to be good for you. But just be cautious of that. Cuz sometimes they're just illusions. Sometimes if it's too good to be true, it might be. I have a feeling that if you guys have been waiting for something, um, whether it be that job offer, that new career change, that new home, that new opportunity, whatever it is for you, it's going to be coming in and you're going to absolutely be tickled about it. That could be where your options are coming in. The ones that are too good to be true. Let me give you an example. Somebody tells you that they'll pay you $5,000 a week. I know that's a bit high, but you guys, okay, I'll give you $5,000 a week. Well, what they don't tell you is that they, they want you to work every single day for 12 hours a day. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm not going to have a life if I do that. You know, I'm going to be exhausted all the time. Well, that's the deal. So even though some things, when you first hear that amount of money that you're going to be getting every week, you're like, yeah, 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 I'll do that. But you're going to be working so many hours that you will get so sick of it after a while that you, it, the money is not important anymore. That's just an example. You guys understand what I'm saying. Some things are too good to be true. Some jobs will say, I'll give you really good money, and you think, oh, good, that's great you know, money every hour. But what they don't tell you is they want you to work double the hours of what you think. So that's, once again, maybe it's a home that you're thinking about buying or even a career opportunity if you're wanting to move overseas or something like that. And once you actually start digging into it, something's not right. Be cautious. Just be cautious. Because not, I mean, you're going to have some options that are fantastic for you, but there's going to be one or two that are just too good to be true. I have a feeling for some of you guys with this judgment card, it's almost like you're going to um, start over in a new beginning somehow, some way. Some of you guys, it may be a new job or a new life, uh, romantic life. Maybe it's even babies. Maybe you're, you're going to be start bringing in babies into your home, into your family. And that's going to give you some kind of a new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new way of, of uh, wanting for that child, for instance. It's not going to be a child for everyone, but you guys get the understanding. Maybe it's you moving into a new home or into a new environment, going back to school or changing careers or doing something totally different. And it's going to give you a new feeling. It's going to give you a new rebirth, basically. Because I think your life is starting to balance out a little bit more. I think maybe that there was something or someone or a situation or even money that you're hanging on to for dear life. And it's, it, you need to release it. You need to let go of it. And when you do, your life is changing in a much better way. Because with this Five of Cups, that's just kind of like, you know, you're looking at your spilled cups, but you're not realizing that you have two full cups ahead, uh, on top. You're not even looking up. So all you need to do is, is release and get over this. Let go of something that you're maybe hanging on to tightly with this Four of Pentacles. For some of you, it's money. For some of you, it's another situation. But you need to let go of it and move forward because everything else is coming in. It's, it's a really good feeling that I have. You may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, male or female. This may be your intelligence, your truth, your um, new way of thinking that's coming out. New way of seeing things, new way of, of um, handling situations. Because it's clarity as well, and you've got one on both ends. Clarity, truth, intelligence, and thinking about everything 
in a better way. When I get this Ten of Cups, you guys are happy. I mean, I have a feeling that if there was, if there is something like this that's going on, it's changing. It's, it's, you're, you're either finding someone in your life, you're, you're getting um, deeper into a relationship, you're getting married, you're getting engaged, you're moving in together, you're rekindling, you're possibly getting remarried. It's a really good feeling that I have, and it's a really good emotional uh, feeling for you guys. So even if you start out up here, you're going to end up right here at the, by the end of August. Hold on one second. I also have this, <clears throat> excuse me, I also have this page of pentacles, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be you and your sign, could be you and your energy, could be a child of yours, younger energy, male, female, very kind and caring and loving, very down to earth, slow and steady wins the race, could be standing for a message coming in. So, a message could get you through this and continue on. Some of you guys are actually, instead of, you might be saving for some kind of a, a trip, a house, saving for something in particular, and you may be getting closer and closer to that. Hold on one second, okay? I'm going to rearrange. I hope they're straight and I hope you guys can see them. I have a feeling there's going to be some options coming into your life in the very near future. Some of them are going to be fantastic and some of them are going to be too good to be true, so be cautious of that. There's something that you're bummed out about, something that you're um, sad and sorrow card, basically. You're not seeing things, you're not seeing, you're, you're seeing things in the more negative way instead of the more positive way. Some of you guys might be hanging on too tightly to a situation or a person or even your money. And with this um, page of pentacles right here, you might be getting a message coming in. You might be getting some kind of a help. This could be a child of yours. Something that they're breaking your heart about. Maybe they're doing something that got them in trouble or something like that. Maybe they need money that you're going to have to help them with possibly. And then I have this King of Swords, so some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some of you guys are um, having clarity moments and truthful moments and understanding. You're seeing things in a different way, possibly. I feel like that for some of you guys, you're going to be um, spiritually guided. You're going to be reawakened. You're going to have something new coming into your life if you'll open up to it, if you'll see it, if you'll believe it, if you'll um, go with it, your intuition, your inner guidance. 
and it could lead you to rebirth, to a uh, new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new way of life. And with this Justice card, balance is coming into your life. Justice will be served. It's almost like karma. What comes around goes around. And then you have this Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful feeling that you guys are feeling by the end of August. You're happy. You're um, possibly in a great relationship. You could be getting married or having babies. Now, for some of you with this financial constraints and this Four of Pentacles, maybe that's why you're hanging on so tightly to your money. You're having money issues. Possibly regarding a child. And then you have this temple path, which really makes me fear, feel like uh, it's a spiritual... You're going down a spiritual path. And it's a good feeling. It could be a, a gift from the universe. Because there is going to be an opportunity for most of you guys in different ways. And this opportunity is going to be fantastic if you'll grab onto it and if you'll go with it. And I think, let's say if it's a job, for instance, and you get an offer, you will be starting that job within the next few months. If it's a home that you're buying and you, you know, start looking and put in an offer, you'll be moving in within the next few months. Things like that. There's something about this opportunity that um, will make you feel a lot better about your life and about the way things are changing and working out for you. You'll be really uh, excited about it. This is a good reading, you all. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. This is your second half of August reading, August 16th through the 31st reading for Taurus. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.